All right, guys, we've got something super, super cool and really special for me to talk about today. So this is a fixed blade. It's a custom, one-off, handmade, amateur at-home fixed blade. It did the paper towel roll chop, I guess is what that's called. I don't know. Super awesome, effortlessly, and I'll put a clip to that at the very end of this video. So we'll put that off to the side. Now, this was made by a friend of mine. He loans in a lot of stuff. His name is Joseph. <clears throat> and this is the number one Primo model that he made at home with basic hand tools, basic materials. I don't know about basic materials, but, you know, we'll talk about that. And did a fantastic job. And I've got a couple other knives here to compare and contrast it that are considerably more expensive that have very similar... Well, we'll get to that. All right, let's just run through the specs first off. Okay? So the Kydex sheath, he did not make. This was made by a uh, another law enforcement... So Joseph's a law enforcement uh, in the Ohio area. And uh, another cop friend made the sheath who actually makes sheaths for a lot of, the, or makes holsters for a lot of the officers and things like that. So Joseph didn't make this part, but we'll set that off to the side. He made this amazing, fantastic knife. So it is out of 1084 high carbon. Steel started out at 3 16 It has red G10 liners, natural linen micarta scales. See if we can zoom in here, if it cooperates with me. You can barely see the red liners, but that's just a cool little touch. Three brass pins plus the brass lanyard tube, which is big enough for real paracord that he made this lanyard with. And the blade, a modified clip point recurve that is super crazy sharp. So overall length you have, let me zoom out. Overall length is nine and a half, 4.8 inches from the edge of the scale to the tip of the blade. 4.64 inches of cutting edge with a very nice sharpening choil there. The blade thickness is 0.175. Overall thickness here at the scales is 0 0.670. It fits so good in the hand. It really does. Okay, the weighs in at 7.2 ounces for the knife alone. Add it with the sheath, and it's 10.8 ounces in total. See, uh, he heat treated this in oil at his house and tempered it in his oven. I'm sure his wife loved that. <laughs> I think this thing is awesome. Okay. Uh, the lanyard works really well. So you can get a solid grip. It's not going to slip out of your hand. You can either wrap it like that or uh, engage the little you know, push toggle thing. Now, uh, you know me, I got to say something, right? It's not perfect, perfect for me personally. I would have wanted a little bit of jimping up here so that your thumb just had a little jimp here. That's all. That's about the only thing I would change. So let's zoom in again because there's a couple things I want to just chat about. The fit and finish. You cannot feel a seam between the brass pins and the scales. You cannot feel a seam between the micarta, the G10, the steel, and back again. Even with your nail, there's no seam. You can feel the difference in material, but that's it. 
This is a little detail, right? I mean, I know you guys are saying, oh, that's easy to do. You build it and then you just sand it all as one piece, right? That's cool. But makers, so here's a tour uh, knife that they didn't do that on. So it's not hard necessarily to do, but here's a production knife that you can absolutely see and feel the seams between, okay? And when I talked about this knife, I talked about how this is actually sharp and, and kind of a dangerous point on the handle. So big name manufacturers aren't getting right what Joseph did in his garage, okay? And then to compare this with the blade, dirty bladed, Frank Fisher battle fixed blade that I have. Let me wipe this off because this is just too good of a looking knife to have messed up. Again, here is a custom maker that did the same thing. The detail, the fit and finish, again, is phenomenal. And really, the quality is very similar here in the make. So Joseph did a fantastic job. And then if we want to take it one step farther and go with the Frank Fisher battle, again, you cannot feel the seams because the quality is there. And Joseph nailed it with the quality of his fixed blade. We zoom back out and we can see all three of them together. Now, granted, these are three different price ranges, okay? I didn't ask Joseph how much he has in materials. He'll, he may chime in in the comments. But you can do some phenomenal things at home. And I just want to tell him that this is truly an awesome, awesome fixed blade. Um, when I did the paper towel roll chop. Um, that was kind of fun. It, it just effortlessly went through. He has a stone washing working finish. He calls it. I don't think he's going to leave, uh, law enforcement to build knives, but he said that this was just a fun kind of experiment that he wanted to do in the house. And I'm going to put uh, some pictures up here that I have from, the raw materials and the, you know, kind of some of the, the pictures that he had as he made the knife. So I'll put those up here in the corner somewhere because I think that's important. So the light's playing a little bit of tweaks here. I don't know why exactly. I'm filming in 4K this time just because I thought it deserved that in case he wanted to throw it up on his big screen. I thought I'd give him a little, little props there, okay? So all in all, I think this is a fantastic knife. We did kind of some size comparisons with the others, um, but we'll pull out the number two pencil and the Sharpie because, well, it's what we do here on my channel. And I want to give Joseph the full Dirk YouTube channel experience. How about the double A and the D cell battery? And if I keep my hands in, I think that helps with the lights. I don't know what is going on. I guess the 4K, I got I to gotta mess with that. And then here it is next to the Spider Codelica. So, Joseph, man, thank you for sending this in. I know you just kind of tossed it in as, uh, as a, I don't know, not as a joke, but just as a goofy thing with the other incredible CNC customs that you sent me. The Stang Blade Works and the D-O-C-K. So I'll be doing reviews on those too, but I wanted to do this one first because this one, quite frankly, I thought was the coolest of the three that he sent me because he made it by hand. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Please uh, check out the little video clip of the paper towel roll chop, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.